Hey guys, it's Fernando. I am back again uh, with an unboxing video. I ordered some stuff from eBay that I'm gonna um, open here. I've been waiting forever for them to get here. I ordered them Saturday and they just got here today on Wednesday. So it hadn't been that long, but still, it takes forever when you're excited about getting something in the mail. <clears throat> um, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. Right now, I'd like to go and uh, say hey to Ripley real quick. I'm gonna give Ripley this collard green right here and uh, see if he wants a little snack. So come on, let's go say hey to Ripley real quick and we'll be right back. Hey Ripley, what you doing? Just chilling out? You having a good day today? Everybody wants to say hey. Do you want some greens? You want some greens? Sorry. Go ahead. Here you go. Good boy. He loves his greens. You done? Is that all you want? Okay, so when he closes his eyes, <clears throat> so when he closes his eyes and turns his head away, that means he's done. No more. Oh, you're a sweet boy. He has grown so much. He had some uh, skin I was trying to get off right there. He is massive. Very pretty. I'm very happy with Ripley. Ripley seems to be very happy with me. So, but yeah, I just want everybody to see Ripley real quick. See how he's been doing. He's been doing all right. Let me see if he wants any more greens. No. All right, Ripley, well, sorry for bothering you. I'm going to go and do my thing, and I'll leave you alone. Let you relax. I'll see you later. I love you. Okay, so now we can get back to what I want to do. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed visiting with Ripley. So now we're going to go ahead and open um, my boxes here. So before I get started, though, let me explain. A couple of weeks ago, it was my nephew's birthday, and one of the gifts that he got was a miniature uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, a classic, with all the games on it that you played when you were a kid. I actually had that game system, and I had ColecoVision and Atari and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> and it brought back so many memories, and I wanted a game like that. And so, I didn't want one that I had to connect to a TV. I wanted something portable that I could carry around with me. So I asked around about what type of portable game system I could get that would house like the PSP games, the old Nintendo games, N64 games, all that stuff. And people were saying that I probably have to build something like using um, the Raspberry Pi or whatever. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to buy something already made. So I researched and researched and um, I discovered that the PSP game systems, the PlayStation portables, we're still very relevant um, in 2018 and people are still playing them and you can do a lot with them. You can mod them, um, you know, to where they play uh, Nintendo games and all that stuff. And so that's what I ordered. I actually ordered a PSP 2000 um, Star Wars edition game system and then I ordered a couple of games and a chip, an adapter, so that I could uh, put in a memory card or an SD card into the game system. So that's what I'm going to open right now. Now, the person that sold this on eBay described it as being in pretty good condition. Um, it functions well, all the, the keys and buttons work. Except uh, the only thing that they said was that there was a gray spot on the screen. There was a gray area on the screen. So I paid $51 and some change total for this system. 
Um, that included the priority shipping charge of $11 and some change. And so I actually paid $40 for the game. Um, it looked in pretty good condition. Uh, it's a Star Wars edition, so it has a picture of Darth Vader uh, on the back side of it, on the battery cover. And so I'm really excited about looking at this and seeing what we have going on here. So let's go ahead and open this. So, and I'm really happy that all the parts came in today. Uh, like the games, the adapter for the memory card, and I had already purchased a battery from a store here in Mobile called um, Play and Talk. So they sell a lot of, uh, they're a game reseller and game system reseller. They're a really awesome store. I could spend all day in that store looking around. Right now I'm just uh, cutting through the tape here. I'm gonna check this out. Plastic bags. I hate plastic bags more than anything. Okay. So here we go. So here we have the power cord. Cool, I'm glad it came with that. Okay, so we're gonna put this to the side. And here, we actually have the game system. Wow. It is in really good shape. It is in really good condition, excellent condition. Here's the Star Wars. Buttons seem to be responsive, bouncy. Oh my God, I love it. 2001. <clears throat> I thought that I considered replacing this shell, modding the shell until it's something different if it was in bad condition, but this is in excellent condition. This is absolutely beautiful. For 50 bucks. You can't beat that. It didn't come with the battery, but I already purchased the battery. Cool. All right, so let's see what this does. Wow, I am so happy with this. It is so pretty. I mean, just perfect condition. They actually had this for one of these for sale at the, the game center here in Mobile. And it was a Star Wars version with Darth Vader, and they had it for sale for $130. I paid $50 for this. Hmm, pretty awesome. So now, we're going to open up this other package here. And here we go. These are the these are two God of War games. I paid um, ten bucks for both of these free shipping, and the um, the PSP game systems actually use these discs. They're called UMD discs. They're inside of a plastic cover. Brand new. These have never been used. Yay, that's really nice. So what you do is basically you just take the game and slide it in and then close it up. And there you go. Um, let's see what else I got here. Here we have the micro SD adapter um, that will go into the game. The uh, PlayStation um, 
portables use a proprietary uh, memory card. Um, but this adapter allows you to use a regular micro SD card in here. I believe it's up to, it'll hold up to 64 gigabytes in each slot in here. So, okay, cool. So now we're gonna put the battery in and see how this baby works here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the battery I got from Play and Talk for $9.99 and uh, test this baby out. Battery fits nice and snugly. The cover snaps in beautifully. Very satisfying click. So here we go. You can hear the UMD reader spinning. You see that little bit of cloudiness right here? Um, the person that sold it mentioned that actually um, on eBay, so I was pretty much expecting that, but it's not too terribly bad. I'm wondering if it's just something under the under the uh, screen right here that I you know that I can just clean off by removing the top shell. But we're gonna see. Let's take a look here. Okay, so it looks like it's been reset to factory settings. All right, I'm going to turn it off and then put a game in it. Well, it already had the game in there, so let's see. Okay, here we go. All right, well the battery's dying. The battery needs to be charged, so I just need to charge it up. <clears throat> all in all, I'm very happy with my purchase. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Um, the only scratches I see on the back are on this silver ring right here. Um, other than that, it is in excellent condition. I am so happy that I made this purchase. I'm so happy I found this, and I'm so happy I bought it. So, um, yeah, it looks fantastic, and I cannot wait to charge it up and to start playing it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off for now so I can go ahead and do that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video, and um, I will see you guys around next time. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and be nice to each other, and I'll talk to you later.